fourth grade module one lesson 18 homework draw a tape diagram to represent each problem use numbers to solve and write your answer as a statement number one there were 22,869 children 49,563 men and 2,872 more women than men at the fair how many people were at the fair okay so let's draw a tape diagram for each of them for children there were 22,869. There were 49,563 men. So more men than children. and 2,872 more women than men. So it doesn't tell us exactly how many women, but it tells us that there were more than more women than men. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. And it tells us that exactly 2,872 more women than men. So more plus 49,563 men. We want to know all together how many people were at the fair. So we need to total all of this up. I'm going to start by figuring out exactly how many women there were. So for the women, we had 28,000 or 2,872 plus 49,563. Usually I would put the larger number on top, but I'd already started write, writing 2,872, so 2 plus 3 is 5, six, 7 plus 6 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 9 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 4 is 5. So the women, there are 52,435 women. Now we need to add everyone together. So I'm going to start by adding, let's add the children and the men. So we have 22,869 plus 49,563. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 6 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 9 is 12, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So children and men is 72,432. Now we just need to add the women to that. So let's do 72,432 plus 52,000. 435. 2 plus 5 is 7. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 7 plus 5 is 12. So we get 124,867 total men, women, children. So we would say in our statement there were 124,867 people at the fair. Number two. Number A is 4,676. Number B is 10,043 greater than A. Number C is 2,610 less than B. What's the total value of numbers A, B, and C? So let's start with A. So A is 4,676. B is 10,043 greater than A. Let's figure out what B is. If we have A plus 10,000, 
let's just go ahead and figure out what that is. So 10,043 plus 4,676. 3 plus 6 is 9. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 6 is 7. 0 plus 4 is 4. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So B is 14,719. And number C is 2,610 less than B. So now that we already know what B was, it's saying, well, it's less. So let me make this smaller. So it is 14,719 minus 2,610. So let's figure out what C is. 14,719 minus 2,610. 9 minus 1 is, 9 minus 0 is 9. 1 minus 1 is 0. 7 minus 6 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus nothing is 1. So C is equal to 12,109. Now it wants to know what's the total value of numbers A, B, and C. So now that we know what each one is equal to, we need to find the total by adding them all together. Let's start by adding A and B. We have B is 14,719 plus A is 4,676. 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 7 is 9. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So there's A and B. Now we just need to add C, 12,109. 5 plus 9 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 0 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So we get 31,504. And our statement we would say the, what is it, total value of numbers A, B, and C is 31,504. And number three. A store sold a total of 21,650 balls. It sold 11,795 baseballs. It sold 4,510 fewer basketballs than baseballs. The rest of the balls sold were footballs. How many footballs did the store sell? All right, so let's start with baseballs. So it sold 11,000. Eleven thousand seven hundred ninety-five. It sold four thousand one hundred fifty fewer basketballs than baseballs. So fewer basketballs than baseballs. Exactly four thousand one hundred fifty fewer. So if we have the baseballs, which was eleven thousand seven hundred ninety-five. And they sold 4,150 fewer. So let's do that subtraction problem to figure out how many basketballs. Five minus zero is five. Nine minus five is four. Seven minus one is six. One minus four, we need to borrow. But 11 minus four is seven. So we get six. 7,645 basketballs, and the rest of the balls sold were footballs. How many footballs did the store sell? So football sold 11,745 
is a big question mark. But we know that the total sold was 21,650. So we can figure out how many footballs were sold by figuring out the baseballs and basketballs together and then figuring out what's left for footballs. There's multiple ways to do it. I'm going to, since I think adding is easier than subtracting, I'm going to add the baseballs and the basketballs together and then subtract. You could start with 21,650 and subtract 11,705 and then subtract 7,645, but I'm going to add instead of subtract first. So I have 11,795 plus 7,645. So basketballs and baseballs is 19,440. Now we just need to subtract that from the total 21,650 to figure out how many footballs. Zero minus zero is zero. Five minus four is one. Six minus four is two. One minus nine, we need to borrow. 11 minus nine is two. And one minus one is nothing. So we get 2,210. We would say that the store sold 2,210 footballs.